Okay guys, so today I am finally going to put up a video of the master bedroom. So it's not 100% ready yet. Like I said, we've only been here for about a month. I think I mentioned that in my last home tour video, but I didn't put in the master bedroom. So today I'm gonna to go ahead and show it to you. So coming into the master bedroom, I can go right into the right and it'll take me into our washroom and closet. Or if I keep going straight ahead, you can see the room. So I'll give you just like a brief little scan and then we'll go through it. So on the front wall is just a big window and then um, we have a fan in the corner. It's starting to get really warm here now. And on this back wall, the only thing I have here is our TV and DVD player and the cords that look ugly. Um, but I'm going to put some decorative pieces on the shelf. I just like uh, haven't, I haven't had a chance to unpack everything and fully decorate this room at all yet and then on this side of our king bed I have we have two gray nightstands sitting on either side of our bed this is my side of the bed so it's got some of my junk there and then the main focal piece of the room is obviously this humongous king size bed I always wanted a fabric uh, headboard a really big chunky king size bed so we finally bought one when we moved into this house so I love that um, and then on this wall here, I didn't want to buy another piece of furniture for this room right now because we had just purchased the bed and stuff. I didn't really, and I don't really know what I want over there. I don't want the room to get too crowded. And because the bed is so big, I just really want to be careful with the space. So for right now, I just put up two white floating shelves. I have our family picture up there, a couple of other little pictures, not much. I still have to decide kind of what I want to do with this wall. So for now, that is it. Uh, so it's just basically the bed of the night's tables. We don't really have any furniture in here yet. And if we keep going this way, we can either go out of the room or go to the left. And that takes us into the closet and the washroom. So on this side here is like the vanity section. Um, and I've got some storage down there. And I just have some cream bath mats down here that I really like. And our hamper sits there as well. So this side of the sink is my side. I have a basket with all of my orthodontic tooth goodies, my necessities that I need every day now that I have braces. And then I have my water pick that sits in the center, which I love. I would really recommend this for anybody, but especially if you have braces, I've been really loving mine. And then that side is Richard's side where obviously there's a little bit more cluster and um, like there's a big difference. I have a real problem with mess and uh, things getting too clustered. He clearly does not. <laughs> Anyways, and then you go into the uh, washroom part, I guess the shower area. So the shower's there, actually dripping, I don't know why. Um, the shower is there and then um, over here I just have a scale on the floor over here is the bath over here we have a big uh, a big jacuzzi bathtub because and all the kids toys are here because they also bath here and then the toilet area so nothing too exciting but I like the bathroom it's spacious it's got a nice big tub nice big shower and then if you come back out this way, where the vanity section was, directly behind it, we have a full little storage closet here. So above here right now, I just have all of the blankets and beach towels. And then for the actual bathroom towels, I store up here and on this side here, but obviously there's some in the wash right now, so that'll have to get filled up when they're done. But I keep all of our towels there. And then on my next shelf here, I just keep all of my hair products and then the basket is just like hair brushes and hair ties and all that good stuff. And on the next shelf, it's a little bit dark in here, but I have sunglasses, body lotions, things like that. And there's a bank of drawers and a little bench. And then in this part of the closet, what I have hanging here is all of my coats and sweaters. And then on this side here, these are pants that don't fit me anymore. So they're kind of like goal pants. So I'm keeping those because I hope one day to fit into them. And then up here is where the towels are going to go when they're out of the laundry, where I keep all of my perfumes, jewelry, and another row of um, drawers. Then we get into like the full closet and this section kind of here and behind the door and that shelf over there is mine and I'll go over that right now. So I've got a few things up there, all my jeans and t-shirts and then like a row of drawers 
there and I hang up stuff there. Now, one thing I don't like about this closet right now is that we have all these Tupperware containers for storage for all of the um, holidays and stuff all the way around the room because I just don't have anywhere else to put them right now. So then this middle set of shelves is my stuff too, just all my bags and storage and things like that. Then we get over to Richard's section of the closet, which is organized, but definitely messier. And he also has a section of shelves and I couldn't even begin to tell you what goes where because it's just kind of a big jumble. And then all the Tupperware over there. And then if you walk straight through, then this leads us right into there's where all my shoes are on the shoe rack there. The lighting is not so good because it's so bright from the other side, but the closet leads straight into the um, office filming beauty room type thing that I already filmed um, earlier. And that's it. So we come back in through the closet and that is my master bedroom slash bathroom tour that I didn't get put up when I did the full house tour because I believe that day Richard was not feeling well and he was in bed most of the day. So there you guys have it. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.